I'm eager to discuss why I think XRP investors will soon be rewarded for their faith in today's podcast. When I look back on 2021, it's evident that XRP's legal issues prevented it from rising to the top like many other cryptocurrencies. However, as time goes on, I'm beginning to see these legal obstacles as more of a strategic maneuver, perhaps intended to discourage regular investors like us from participating in XRP because its core goal is what makes it so compelling. Especially in light of a more digitally focused future. Before we go into today's fantastic updates, I need your quick favor. Please let us know how much you appreciate our content before we ask for your assistance. Some assistance provides that kind of to join our amazing community, hit the good smash button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. We are all aware that digitization is essential in the era we are entering, with practically everything transitioning to a tokenized format. Analyzing XRP's fundamental materials, like its white paper, reveals that its primary goal is to speed transactions, not just for currencies, but for other assets as well. In a world where tokenized XRP's design to manage token transfers based on assets or money is equally intriguing, efficiency is the key. Ally intriguing, the key is efficiency. Tokenization makes XRP operations much simpler. This may be happening simultaneously with Stellar, which is XRP's less glamorous brother that is getting ready. To serve as the foundation for the transfer of digital assets and money to clarify why XRP has the potential to transform the remittance market completely. Let's think about how it affects liquidity. Let's imagine that transferring $200 million from a Japanese bank to an American bank would take twice as much money under the current banking system. In this case, XRP plays a transformative role in the transaction. I'm going to dive into the revolutionary potential of XRP in the area of liquidity and the foreign exchange market, possibly changing the way that international remittances operate by greatly releasing liquidity in this segment. FX imagine a market where transactions are almost instantaneous thanks to a token like XRP. This innovation has the potential to liberate a significant amount of liquidity and improve market efficiency. Because of Ripple's efficiency, we've seen several banks cooperating with them, but institutional adoption hasn't quite occurred yet. Let's look at an example to understand this better. If the bank of Mitsubishi's Tokyo branch had to transfer $100 million in yen to its New York office to exchange it for dollars, normally, this would require the identical amount in both currencies at both locations, effectively timing the purchase of $200 million. However, if this transaction were connected to a cryptocurrency like XRP, there would be significant consequences. A noteworthy event to contemplate is Ripple's possible decision to go public, subject to SEC approval. This is especially noteworthy in light of the company's success in the litigation in which Judge Torres ruled that it is not a security. Individually, I have invested in XRP for a considerable amount of time, even if we don't talk about it much on the channel. During the last bull market, my experience with XRP has been inconsistent. I made more money on other investments while XRP's performance was noticeably muted. In addition to the litigation, the XRP community occasionally displays an extreme, bordering on cult-like zeal, which I find fascinating. I have had periods when I have been unduly optimistic about a project, and XRP was no different. This caution is partially motivated by the worry that some of my followers may have invested based on my enthusiasm and might have suffered losses. However, recent technical analysis indicates that XRP may be about to stage another rally similar to the one that occurred before 201007. The setup we are currently experiencing is similar to that of the previous surge. The HVF hunt's instability has been discussed. The funnel approach on the program has been used multiple times, and having Francis Hunt as a guest has yielded insightful information. If his prediction comes to pass, XRP's value will jump to 16, which would be a huge increase from its present price of about 60. As a result, investors can expect an incredible return. The goal of today's video is to highlight what I believe to be a significant opportunity with XRP. Granted, this may seem like a story you've heard before. However, there's a strong argument that suggests XRP investors are about to make a significant profit. 
The crucial factor in this case is XRP's technical structure, which appears to be following a similar path to the one that preceded its astounding ascent in 2017. The fact that it failed to reach new highs in 2021 is a sign of hope for a possible recurrence of the 2017 spike as someone who holds XRP. I agree with Francis Hunt's optimistic assessment as I have studied the similarities between today's circumstances and the tendencies that preceded 2017 over the past year. The likelihood that XRP will hit $16 indicates the impending arrival of a significant catalyst. Ripple's potential public offering or their recent stock repurchase, which demonstrates their confidence, could influence this. Their approach, in my opinion, deserves a place in your portfolio, especially given the need for immediate liquidity in the market. I want to acknowledge the frustration that many XRP holders have had in the current financial environment. Though I agree with the attitude, I think our patience will soon be rewarded. We're going to see a long overdue run that has the potential to completely redefine the value of XRP and its place in the cryptocurrency market. In this segment of the film, I want to investigate the possibility that the SEC, under the influence of external parties, has been trying to dissuade ordinary individuals from investing in XRP. Despite the legal action that Ripple faced until recently, it's impressive how many banks are working with Ripple. It appears that the legal issues didn't stop these financial institutions, highlighting XRP's potential and tenacity. XRP stands out from other cryptocurrencies due to its clear legal status and lack of classification as a security. Because of this clarity, technical indicators suggest that XRP may be able to grow its market share of all cryptocurrencies. Glancing forward, it seems like 2024 will be a turning point for XRP and Ripple. According to several remarks and forecasts from Ripple, it will be intriguing to watch how these predictions materialize. But it's vital to keep a balanced viewpoint. I'm not in favor of spending all of your money. Diversity in the XRP portfolio is essential, particularly in the volatile cryptocurrency market, as many investors in XRP discovered in 2021. Diversification is crucial. However, I believe XRP is a worthy addition to our own crypto portfolio's diversified portfolio. We embrace a wide range of sectors and cryptocurrencies, each serving different purposes. We include currencies like XRP and XLM, which are important in the value transfer and remittance markets. We are witnessing the emergence of the Internet of Value, and transaction channels are essential for this new ecosystem to function smoothly and efficiently. Both XRP and XLM show promise in this area. Potential helpers in this emerging digital economy, please keep in mind that I am not a certified financial advisor and the information in these videos is only meant to be entertaining. I always suggest viewers research and speak with experts before making any financial decisions. I appreciate you watching, and if you liked the video, please click the like button. Don't forget to enable the alerts so you can be the first to know when I upload new content. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care.